Interferometry, so time-consuming and problematic. It requires expensive vibration isolation systems. Even with this, it is still affected by mechanical noise and vibration, so that it cannot be used on the production floor. Too often, there are too many fringes to be resolved. A small tilt of the object causes a change in both the number and shape of the fringes. Distinguishing between hills and valleys requires additional mappings. With all these problems, don't you wish there was an easier solution to your non-destructive testing needs? Now there is. Moiré deflectometry eliminates all these problems and provides even more applications. The answer to all your non-destructive testing needs. What is Moiré deflectometry? The Moiré effect is the fringe pattern observed when two gratings, for example Ranchi rulings, are placed at a small angle to each other. As the angle is decreased, the pitch of the moiré fringes is increased. If the two gratings are placed with their stripes in parallel, one infinite fringe is formed. A moiré deflectometer consists of a collimated beam and two Ranchi rulings, separated by a distance d. The second grating is attached to a mat screen. A phase object is placed in the path of the collimated beam and causes ray deflections. The shadow of the first grating projected onto the second grating is distorted, and a distorted moiré pattern, which represents a map of ray deflections, is formed. The sensitivity is tuned by merely changing the distance between the two gratings. There are two modes of operation, finite and infinite fringe. As the angle between the grating stripes is decreased, the pitch of the moiré pattern is increased until one infinite fringe is formed. When the distance between the two gratings is increased, the picture focuses, blurs, and refocuses. This is the Talbot effect, and the distance between Talbot planes depends on the light wavelength and the pitch of the gratings. Our commercial instrument is a telescopic setup called OMS 400. The beam is emitted by a laser, filtered, and collimated by a four-inch lens. The beam is then reflected by a four-inch flat mirror and refocused by the lens. The refocused beam is reflected up by a beam splitter and recollimated by a small one-inch lens. Two raunchy rulings and a matte screen are placed after the recollimated beam. Phase objects are tested by placing them between the four-inch lens and mirror. Reflective objects are tested by removing the flat mirror and replacing it with a test object. An increase in sensitivity of 2M, where M is the telescope magnification, is observed. Besides Moray deflectometry, the OMS 400 has two additional modes of operation. Fizeau option. With an addition of a reference plate parallel to a flat mirror, the instrument can work exactly as a modified Fizeau interferometer. Schlieren option. A knife edge spatial filter at the focal plane of the recollimated beam allows the instrument to work as a Schlieren device. The Moiré deflectometer can be used for a large range of applications, such as flow visualization, flame temperature distribution, flatness analysis and surface roughness, refractive index analysis, lens testing, surface parallelism, radius of curvature, and microscopy. We start our demonstration with flow visualization. Since the Moiré deflectometer is a rugged unit with low sensitivity to mechanical noise and vibrations and does not require accurate positioning, it is a perfect instrument for measuring flows in turbulent environments. For wind tunnel applications, such as the visualization of shock waves, a conventional Schlieren setup can be easily converted into a Moiré deflectometer to provide fully quantitative results, as opposed to the only semi-quantitative results of Schlieren. Some other possibilities are measuring temperature distributions in jets, studying turbulence, and monitoring gas leaks. Flame temperature distribution. From the observed finite fringe, Moiré deflectogram, and knowledge of the flame's chemical composition, the temperature distribution can be derived. The contrast of the fringe pattern determines the turbulence. 
and therefore one photograph is sufficient for a comprehensive study of the flame. Flatness analysis and surface roughness. The Moiré deflectometer is an ideal instrument for surface analysis because of its tunable sensitivity, simple determination of hills and valleys, immunity to mechanical shock and vibration, and insensitivity to object tilt. It can be placed on the production floor and measure deviations from lambda over 30 to the millimetric range. Some applications include hard disks, wafers, and machined parts. On the screen is a topographical map of a hard disk using finite fringe deflectometry. The fringe deviation is proportional to the slope in the x direction. The quality of the surface finish can be determined from the reduction in fringe contrast relative to the reference mirror seen through the center hole. Refractive index analysis. Since the Moray deflectometer is sensitive to refractive index gradients, it is an ideal instrument for the detection of invisible imperfections in transparent objects. The refractive index gradients of glass sheets, flats, wedges, and prisms can be measured directly by hand holding them in the path of the collimated beam. For example, this glass substrate has an area of material with different refractive index. Biofringence can also be determined by simply hand holding the object. The traditional biofringes are observed because of the polarization of the laser and the beam splitter. The Petri dish exhibits the regular biofringence plus the Moray fringe pattern. Lens testing. The Moray deflectometer can be used to determine the focal length, aberrations, and MTF of any lens or lens system. For example, the focal length of a weak lens is determined by placing a lens in the path of a collimated beam and noting the angle in which the fringes are rotated. When working with a short focal length lens, the test lens focuses the beam onto a flat mirror, and the point source is then recollimated on the return trip. Since Moray deflectometry is a ray tracing technique, there is no problem with coherence length. The aberrations are mapped, and the interpretation is identical to shearing interferometry. For example, this lens exhibits pure spherical aberrations at the marginal focus, as mapped by finite fringe Moray deflectometry. The MTF can be derived from the contrast of the fringes. Surface parallelism. If the two faces of a window are not parallel, refraction at the boundaries results in an off-axis deflection of the collimated beam. When the window is rotated through a full circle, the Moray fringes move first in one direction, and then in the opposite direction. This method is an accurate substitution for an auto collimator and can be used for a very wide range of wedge angles, from laser rod parallelism to optical wedges. Using the Fizeau option in combination, the refractive index of the window can also be determined. Radius of curvature. The Moray deflectometer is very useful for determining the radius of curvature of lenses and mirrors simply by adding a good quality focusing lens in the path of the collimated beam. The beam will be recollimated in two positions which are easily found because they exhibit horizontal fringes in the finite fringe mode. In the first, the test object is placed at the focus of the lens and acts as a flat mirror. In the second, the distance is equal to the focal length of the lens plus the radius of curvature of the test object. By subtracting the first distance from the second, the radius of curvature is determined. Using the same technique, imperfections on the lens or mirror surface can also be determined. Microscopy. Using a similar setup as just described, the OMS 400 can work as a zoom microscope. By placing the test object near the focal plane of the lens, minute imperfections, such as the grooves resulting from diamond turning, are observed. A spot size can be determined from the number of fringes observed in the infinite fringe mode. There are many additional applications, such as OTF determination, laser beam diagnostics, aspheric element analysis, thermal lensing, cell focusing, study of turbulence in liquids, colloid concentration determination, strain analysis, laser rod evaluation, refractive index determination of lenses, gases, and liquids, and many more. More importantly, whichever application you are using, the OMS 400 can be connected to a computer to provide a complete analysis.
Our unique IBM PC-AT-based software provides a complete surface or phase mapping with lambda over 30 accuracy. On the computer, we see the surface topography of a silicon wafer with maximum height variation of 27 lambda. This 5.25 inch hard disk is another example of surface topography mapping. Our unique lens analysis system provides a wave front distortion map, a complete fitted curve of all aberrations, values for the aberration coefficients, and an MTF curve. By changing the distance between the gratings, we can scan over the spatial frequencies and obtain an MTF curve of any optical component. To summarize, the advantages of Moiré deflectometry over interferometric techniques are tunable sensitivity, large dynamic range, immunity to mechanical shock and vibrations, insensitivity to object tilt, simple determination of hills and valleys, unlimited test area, computer compatibility. Because of all the benefits of Moiré deflectometry, the OMS 400 Moiré deflectometer was chosen by Photonic Spectra magazine as one of the 25 best new products of 1987. An award-winning breakthrough in non-destructive optical testing.